Hey Leo, it's Sunny Ovi, and I'm here with an April 2019 reading. Keep in mind that these are journals, the things that I talk about may not resonate with you. It should be alright. I do recommend that you get uh, familiar with your natal chart because other aspects of your chart may make more sense to you other than your sun, your moon, and your rising. And if you would like a personal reading, please go to the description bar below because that's where my website is. Also, disclaimer with my readings. I do talk fast, I do curse, and due to me reading for a lot of different energies, my readings can be very jumpy, but it shall be alright, darling, I promise. And also, please forgive me, um, I really don't feel like being seen today, but it's alright. Um, when I connect with you guys, this energy, off the gate, I am picking up that you may be thinking of an ex-lover during this time, or an ex-lover may come back into your life. For some of you, you may not want to be bothered with this person. Um, and you may like be out and about at Walmart randomly. And you see this person and they see you and it's just like, damn. <laughs> like you may feel obligated to say hey or this person just walks up to you. Or maybe you get a random phone call from this person. The angels are saying if anybody from the past does come back, understand they are not going to be in your life long um or this person may come with conflict or this person may be in conflict themselves and they are just reaching out just to reach out um to either vent to someone or to just have somebody to talk to but i am seeing how um if you do accept the past it's going to bring hurdles you can take that how you want to. Um, right now, I'm just seeing how it's best for you guys to just look forward and do not look back. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see what's going on. I'm also seeing how there's going to be people needing you. Okay. Um, and you may be in a place of, oh my God, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. Um, for some of you, I am picking up that this is going to be a popular time for you all. So be mindful about that. I'm just seeing how y'all are just like, so far, like, it's just like, I'm not in the mood to deal with some of this shit. Okay. And, <laughs> and you can take this shit how you want to, you, you know, you, you're going to have to handle it the best way you can. seeing how this is going to be a popular time as well let's see give me three cards what's going on for my uh leos for april 2019 mm, okay give me three cards april 2019 what's going on for leos damn my cards are just like ugh. i feel like something happened to you unexpectedly and you're low-key being knocked off course for some of you. Or something hit you blindsidedly is what's being shown. And it's like you have to bounce back from it. Whatever issue that happened, you're going to have to bounce back from it. For some of you, it's financial. For some of you, it may have been a loss of a child or loss of a friend. Um, maybe even loss of a parent. But I'm seeing how if you did lose someone, this person doesn't want you to mourn over them. They want you to get back on your shit. Okay. They're saying, I will visit you. Some of you lost a child. I keep hearing mommy, mommy, mommy. I keep hearing that. Like a little kid say mommy, mommy. Um, on another note, for some of you, you may have lost your job. Okay, ooh. I'm seeing scandal at work. Like there were three people plotting on you. Either you lost your job or you lost passion for your job. And I'm seeing how for some of you, it's, it's because of three people. 
whether they've been wishing bad for you or they sabotaged you. And it's like they're cheering, they're happy because they're seeing that it affected you or it will affect you. But I'm seeing how their cheerfulness is going to be short lived. Yes, it has knocked you down, but I'm seeing how it didn't knock you down too much. From your divine God and angel's point of view, it didn't knock you down too much. Yes, your pride may have been broken, but your spirit wasn't broken. Keep that in mind. All right. And I'm seeing how maybe you were sad and maybe you were aware that people were sabotaging you or maybe you will be aware of someone plotting on you. But I'm seeing how, honey, honey, your angels are going to block that shit and be like, oh, no more. What they really want you to do. Your angels want you to protect yourself. They want you to have your radar up at all times. Unfortunately, you got caught slipping. Okay. Maybe you weren't um, spiritually protecting yourself. Maybe you were coming to work, making mistakes and like having this nonchalant or I don't care type of attitude. Um, but now it's time for you to boss back up. Okay. I'm seeing how this month, like you're really just going to be focusing. You're going to be like, look, I, I need to get this done. I have to make this happen. I need to feel better about myself. And you will get there. You're going to get there. But it's going to take some work. Okay? It's going to take a, a clear mindset. And it's going to take proper vision. And you can take that you want to. For some of you, I am picking up that there may be issues in regards to electricity. Uh, so be mindful of your light bill during this time. Uh, for some of you, your lights may get disconnected, I hate to say. Or you may be in a situation where you your lights get knocked out. Where like you fight and they knock you the fuck out. Okay? Or vice versa. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, I'm also seeing how karmically, even though you don't, maybe you don't want to help out people or you are just not in a mood to help out people but i'm seeing how you're gonna have to you're gonna have to be there for people or you're gonna have to be open to the fact that there's people truly wanting to help you like there's still good people out there in the world okay just because you know someone did something devilish to you doesn't mean that everybody is out to get you once again there's still some good people out there in the world and i'm seeing how for some of you you're going to have to realize that i feel like by the 19th you're realizing like damn there's still some good people out there or you are going to be more open to receiving the help from other people I am seeing how for some of you, if you are in a relationship, you're trying to rebuild your trust when it comes to your partner. Oh, wait, hold on, y'all. All right, Leos, I'm back. Sorry about that. My baby was crying. Um, and I really forgot what the hell I was talking about. Maybe for some of you, um, the focus is on your children. Uh, you may have issues of a child constantly crying. Um, maybe your child has nightmares. Or your child is going to be very sensitive and or very clingy during this time. Um, let's see, what else is going on for my Leos? For April 2019, they would like to discuss. Okay. Alright. I am picking up for some of you. There's going to be blessings upon your financial situation. Whether you're getting a new job. Uh, there's going to be a second source of income. 
I'm seeing how there's going to be another woman helping you out with that and you can just take that how you want to. I'm also picking up for some of you, you are separating from a partner during this time, whether it's physically or mentally. Okay, you, you are stepping away from someone. Um, I'm also seeing how some of you guys, you are maturing more when it comes to your finances. Like, you're realizing that you can't have this spend a check and get it right back type of mindset. And for some of you, it doesn't even bother you anymore. For some reason, I, I keep picking up on this energy of, yeah, I want to get the money back. I'm not worried about it. I'm upset. Let me go buy something to make me happy. Like, in the month of April, I just see where you're going to be like, you know what? I need to save my freaking money. I can't be acting crazy. And for some reason, like, with your angels hearing you say that, or they see that you're making a change towards your financial transactions, they're going to be like, oh, okay, let's send her $20. Or, you know, let's give her 100 I don't know, I just see like the angels like blessing you some way, somehow when it comes to smart decisions. They are working in your favor. Okay, and they are working with you. Um I really see for some of you you are gonna get out of a bind. And whatever that bind is, it it just gonna be what it is. But you you can't once again, y'all, you can't go back to the past. You you it's okay to think about the past and to learn from it, but don't relive it, okay? Um, this month is just going to be all about you getting back on your feet or getting your mojo back and just, you know, feeling emotionally valid. You can take that you want to. Um, I, I just see where some of you guys... You may, even though you're in a relationship, you're going to feel single. Or you're realizing how you're better off single for some. I'm just seeing how many of you, like you're becoming a new you. That's really what I'm seeing. You're becoming a new you. And you're going to be proud of that. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I shall see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.